So as a sneakerhead, I'm pretty sure we've all done this. A brand new shoe is about to release, so we start wearing a similar shoe just to get that vibe going, just to get that good look going, right? This is why I undies these shoes and I still didn't hit. Hello on YouTube, welcome back to the page, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another story time with Squint TV because all these videos look like they're about to be a story time. And on today's episode, we're going to be talking about these bad boys right here. These are the patent leather black and gold. Now, don't get me wrong, I bought these shoes a few months ago and never wore them only because I'm like, bro. Uh, pant leather is gonna hurt my feet. I'm not gonna wear them, but I did and they were actually Comfy as hell and then I remember the patent leather breads are coming out So maybe because I broke these out. I was gonna get good luck and of course I did not get any good luck at all. We're talking about L's right left and center I didn't get not one pair of of course, I got a pair from my daughter. She is lit, she is set. But when it comes to my toes and my feet, I was not able to get a pair, but at least I got these, right? So for those who don't know, this is actually a shoe that everybody was going crazy for, and then it finally dropped and nobody gave a hell. And I feel like a lot of shoes in the past, we say we want it, then it comes back, and we're like, oh no, not like that, change this, change that. And it's like, damn. Jordan brand can't drop a shoe without us criticizing it. And that's why I say the whole, listen to the consumer, that's a dub. If they ask for something, don't drop it. Drop whatever you want because they're gonna complain either way. These right here are fire. A lot of people are saying that they rather the white midsole and the gold outsole, but that was a total different shoe. This is the shoe that we asked for and we got it and they're still complaining. At first, I'll be honest, I did not like this shoe at all. When I seen it on feet in the proper fit, I was like, yo, these are fire but yo guys comment down below and let me know how you feel about the patent leather black and gold matter of fact hold on how do you feel about patent leather jordan ones overall because i know the black and gold ones a lot of people said that hurt their feet a lot of people don't like the patent leather on a jordan one they're so used to the traditional leather that everybody don't want to switch up they don't like it but for me now that i have this pair in my hand i am all for it because these are nice and they are comfy one thing that I heard is that you have to go down a size. I got these in my true size nine and a half and they were fine. So now I gotta find those breads in a nine and a half because I really want those. I gotta match with my daughter. But these are definitely the last shoes that I undies just because I try to get some luck. I tried to please the sneaker gods and I definitely took an L and it's crazy. I feel like as a sneakerhead, we all have our different rituals on how we try to get a shoe and that was mine and it failed. So I gotta try something else. If you guys have your own special ritual on how you get a shoe, please let me know. Trust me, I won't tell nobody else. Matter of fact, if you comment it, I'm going to delete it so only we know what's going on because I definitely gotta start hitting this year. But yo guys, that's it. Love, manas, and always respect. Yo, let me know if if you guys are feeling this little series that's going on because when we hit the season finale that's it there's no more 31 day challenge so please guys comment down below and let me know all right i am gone